making water out of thin air. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with another look at some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. This is episode number 71, if you are keeping count. And we'll pick up from where we left off on our last episode, which admittedly was a few weeks ago. Had a little bit of time off visiting family and friends back on the East Coast. But as we left off from our previous Good News Next Week episode about growing food to give it away, that's exactly what a North Dakota woman has done. Donna Stumpf of Grand Forks, North Dakota, has donated not a couple of bags, not even a couple of carloads, a ton and a half of vegetables for people in need this fall over the course of six to eight weeks, as the uh, Billings Gazette reports. And of course, everything we say and play always included down in the show notes. Over the course of six to eight weeks, 67-year-old provided the produce mostly to the Salvation Army and some to their local Northlands rescue mission. She said, I decided to do something about the hunger problem. I had kids in mind, mainly and parents who can't afford to buy fresh vegetables. When she started the project, I thought, I have to give myself a goal. She said, you know, go big or go home. She actually was just going to do 500 pounds, which is a pretty amazing and generous goal in the first place. When she first checked what her weights were, she was already over a 1,000. So like a lot of things, doing good makes you feel good, and you actually continue along that path. A couple of related stories to include, along with segment number one here, go along with the sort of food and farming revolution, the food world order, if you will. Hemp gaining traction across the U.S., advocates hope Texas will follow. And the U.S. does find itself pretty much in an interesting spot as our neighbors to the north have essentially completely legalized cannabis. And our neighbors to the south, I believe, I don't have it here on the stack of the show notes, but I believe Mexico's Supreme Court essentially said, yeah, cannabis prohibition is pretty much unconstitutional. So what are we going to do in the middle? Stay tuned. The other story to go along with this first story, glyphosate to be banned in Minneapolis parks as a little bit of good news in that way to hopefully counteract some of the bad news we talked about related to glyphosate and those court cases of the Monsatan going on that we talked about in the latest episode of Good News Next Week. Our second story here on Good news next week. Did I, I, I get good news in New World next week mixed up? Maybe that's a good thing. There, there are worse things you could mix up. And whoops, what if we actually just made good New World next week the good news show? That's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, take two trips to the to the museum and call me in the morning. A group of Canadian doctors are beginning to prescribe trips to the art gallery to help patients suffering a range of ailments and to become the picture of health. Ha ha. A partnership between the Francophone Association of Doctors in Canada. I thought the Francophone was just something I called my cat on. The Francophone Association of Doctors in Canada teamed up with the Montreal Museum of Fine Art, MMFA, and will allow patients suffering from a number of physical and mental health issues along with their loved ones to take in the benefits of art on health with free visits. Visits. Pilot project is unprecedented globally, they say, according to its organizer. The project will see participating physicians prescribe up to 50 visits to the Montreal Museum of Fine Art during treatment, each pass valid for up to two adults and two minors. So far, 100 doctors have enrolled to take part over the course of the year. Nicole Parent, head of the medical side of this deal, said to the AFP. The numbers offer proof that doctors have a sensitivity and openness to alternative approaches, if you want, parents said, citing scientifically proven benefits of art on health. Here's an interesting quote from the the museum director, Natalie Bondale. I am convinced that in the 21st century, culture will be what physical activity was for health in the 20th century. Cultural experiences will benefit health and wellness just as engaging in sports contributes to fitness. The story that goes quite well with this in a related note, the dementia just seems to go. How mixing children with nursing homes helps everybody out. Our final story on this Good News Next Week, episode 71, is again another collection of stories. And I'll first mention, because it's a pretty hefty story with a lot of science that's not exactly fun for me to try and, you know, read off to. And again, you can continue the research for yourself. Breakthrough in treating paralysis. Targeted neurotechnology restores walking in humans with spinal cord injury. And all you got to do is see a video of a dude going, holy moly, I'm walking to... to 
pretty much boost your heart. The story I want to focus on and our cover story for this episode 71 of Good News Next Week says it started out modestly enough. David Hertz. And you gotta love when the last name sort of leads you to the work that you want to do. H-E-R-T-Z. David Hertz learned that under the right conditions you can make your own water out of thin air. He put a little contraption on the roof of his office and began cranking out free bottles of water for anybody who wanted one. Soon, he and his wife, Laura Doss Hertz, were thinking big and bigger. So much so that the couple won a one and a half million dollar X Prize for water abundance. They prevailed by developing a system that uses shipping containers, wood chips, and other detritus to produce as much as 528 gallons, that's 2,000 liters of water, a day for a cost of uh, about two cents a quart or a liter. The X Prize competition, created by a group of philanthropists, entrepreneurs, and others, has awarded more than 140 million bucks over the years for what it calls audacious futuristic ideas aimed at protecting and improving the planet. This is the part that I won't mention to you, all the other misleaders and baddies that have won some of the previous prizes, and that's why... Sometimes these stories are not unmitigated good news. But again, we don't want to talk about people or events. We want to talk about ideas. This couple, the Hertz couple, are hardly the first people to work on and expand on the ability that we all know you can make water out of the atmosphere. There are multiple other versions of similar things. Some are more efficient. Some might be less efficient. But everybody's working towards essentially the same goal. And you know that's going to go open source. The idea, of course, is the power to know that we can all make our water for ourselves. Just as we know, we can all make our own food and we can make our own art and entertainment and our own community. And that's a fantastic way to wrap up. Oh, wait, but there's more. The other last bit to tack onto that, Costa Rica exceeds 98% of renewable electricity generation for not the second or third, but for the fourth consecutive year. There are ways that we're winning. There are solutions-oriented stories. It's not all just divide and conquer, rage, click, freak out, purges. There are positive ways. And again, those are the things they, the powers that shouldn't be, don't really want you to know. You've seen a million memes. You've seen a million different illustrations and allegories that if we all stand up, there's no way that they can keep us all down. Something from that movie Ants, I think. There you go. There's episode 71 of Good News Next Week. Some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. I am James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com again. Thanking you so much for listening and watching and sharing some of the positive vibes. But I'm also inviting you to join the Media Monarchy community. Would love to see you join via MediaMonarchy.com slash join or Patreon.com slash Media Monarchy. And of course, like I always like to remind you, in addition to streaming, news, music, memes, and more, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Pacific Time at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen, I always like to remind you, like Jello Biafra said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.